Hello everyone and welcome to another uh, BMDG 737 tutorial video. Uh, we're flying with the 800 here, but if you have a different uh, version, then just follow along uh, because it's the same for the 6 and 700. Uh, I set a departure and arrival here. Uh, what we'll do uh, is change this from direct to IFR, low altitude airways. And then we set the departure here, we check. Alright, this will only change. Only 5. Just like that, and we yeah we can depart like this, but it's not ideal. So we want to change it a little bit, and we can do so over here. And we simply have to go over the options which are available to find one, yeah, which is more like that. And then we got our arrival here, Rome, and we have seven runway seven here. So I want to pick ILS 7 if it's available, but it's not 34 left, ILS 34 left it is. And this is a direct approach which will work. Um, so we can keep it like this, we can go with a direct approach. Uh, I think that will be fine, otherwise we have to go over the options here. We can do like that, it's possible as well. We come a 44 minute flight, but that's fine. Um, We go with a direct, it's 33. Let's do a direct, let's see how this will work out. So we have our departure set up with this one and our arrival direct. Uh, what you want to do next is take a picture from this uh, information or just simply write it down. Uh, you need this information, this one, and then the line here. Uh, this one, this one, this one, this one. We're not going to go with these uh, three yet. Uh, the whole purpose of this uh, video, the idea is, is to show you the easiest way to go from point A to point B. Uh, fly a navigation flight and then make an ILS landing. Um, when I started flying the PMG airplane I was so overwhelmed with all the information which is available and people making videos where you have to set up performance pages and stuff like that straight away. It becomes quite overwhelming and complicated in the, be in the beginning when you're just starting off. And this is a way I found out myself by reading manuals and, and watching videos and uh, writing stuff down. I came up with this way of flying and that's what I want to share with you guys today. Uh, so I want to show you the easiest way how to fly it by just setting up what's necessary and uh, nothing more. Uh, so it's not uh, the official and, uh, and the most ideal, uh, yeah, most perfect way, but uh, it gets you from point A to point B with the ILS landing. So uh, just follow along for uh, the flight and I'll see you guys at the runway. Here we are, sitting at runway 5, uh, like we set up. Um, if you start your first PMDG flight and your airplane is not looking like this, uh, what you want to do is come over to PMDG setup, uh, go startup state, and hit the next page button, next page, select taxi, and hit execute. Restart your flight, it's not necessary to restart the complete simulator, but just restart your flight, and the airplane should be like this. Uh, notice that we have some flaps set here already straight away. Um, I didn't touch anything, so everything is, is, is loading up like this. Um, so the flaps are set at 5, which is fine for takeoff. Um, and then we want to go to our ATC control over here. And we got takeoff clearance uh, already because we're on the runway. And we want to go all the way back up. And we need some information like this one 9000 feet. We requested to go to 9000 feet. Uh, take off runway 5, so we're heading 052, 052. There you can see 052. Next up, we want to set our speed to 230 here in Europe. Like that. Uh, Auto throttle is already armed, uh, but it's not working as long as we're not pressing the autopilot button. And then we have to squawk 1462. Uh, make sure you set up 1462. Uh, as your squawk uh, frequency, which is over here. Uh, so that's one, four, six, two, one, four, six, two. So it's a transponder signal where the ATC controller can monitor you on this radar. You have to set it up, otherwise ATC will say, please squawk one, four, six, two, and they will do it like two times or three times, I believe. And after that, they cancel your flight plan. So it would be pity if you forget that one. That's all you need from the ATC. Um, so we have the autopilot set up, we have the squawk set up, and the flaps are set. So basically, takeoff wise we are ready, uh, but we want to prepare our flight plan. To do so, we want to go over here and hit uh, FMC, 
go to this next page and then root page. And then we have origin, so we pick L E I O, <coughs> Lima India Echo Hotel, and then we go L I R F, Lima India Romeo Foxtrot. And then we need more information because we have our uh, departure airport and we have our destination. But how we go from A to B, we have to fill in the FMC as well. And you can see we're at page one of the two. So we simply press next page and we can start adding waypoints. And um, like I said, we will do everything direct, starting off with our first waypoint. Uh, so is that right? Yep, that's right. I will put the flight in the description uh, so you can fly this one as well yourself. Make sure you fill it in on the right side and they will become direct. We do the next one. Fan over here. As you know. If you have uh, it spelled correct, uh, incorrect, you made a mistake, whatsoever, you select the delete option. This one will come here, and you press it, and it will be deleted. So I see them again. Next up, Neptune. Neptune. And that's it. Uh, then we want to hit activate and execute. Note that this blue dotted line will become. Like that. Um, next up, we need our departure and arrival. So we hit departure, arrival, dip, dip R, uh, start off with departure. We're at runway 5, and we had departure information, Bato 6K, Bato 6K, this is the one we want. And hit execute again. Then we go back to index and arrivals, and we want to land on ILS 3 4 left, so we're gonna pick that one. And we uh, are planning a direct approach, so we hit execute again. Um, <coughs> now we want to verify our route. We want to check that everything is correct. Uh, to do so, we go to the legs page. I want to go through these uh, pages with our waypoints. So we select ne next page. This is why we check it, because we have a route discontinuity here. And to fix this one, we simply press the one after the discontinuity. It will become available here. So I want it up there. Hit execute. And that's the way how to fix it. Do we have any more? No. Now we have the legs checked in our FMS, FMC, uh, but we still want to check our route, like how it looks like visually, uh, I like to say. So we have two knobs here. Uh, this one is now at a uh, map, and we want to turn it to plan. Uh, and then note that this is north up, and this is our range uh, knob, so we can change the range. Uh, I want to go a little bit between different range ranges when checking the route to see my next waypoints. And now we simply go over the route by pressing the step button. See how it looks like. And that's a perfect approach. Just want to verify that the last step is like a nice line up to the runway. And it is. We are coming from uh, coming up from here. Have one more small turn coming up here. And after that we're straight away lined up for our approach. So that's just perfect. We have three, four left. I want to say it's perfect, but it's not really 100% perfect because that will, this will be our perfect line. So we have to make sure in the end that we're correcting uh, this, this final approach. But I will show you how to do this. It's actually good for this tutorial flight if you would pick an approach um, arrivals, let's say, an arrival detail, you will be lined up better. Um, but for this tutorial, it's actually not too bad. Uh, I can show you how to fix on the go. Um, so like this is okay now. And hit step step again to be back uh, beginning. There we go. And we want to switch this one to map mode again. So notice here that we just set up our uh, flight plan, our autopilot, and that's it. We're not going to go through performance pages and stuff like that. Um, so we don't have a V1, a V rotate, and a V2. Uh, but if you uh, simply, when you simply reach 140 and you start uh, rotating. That's fine. So we have our takeoff clearance here. Uh, our parking brake is off. Um, to apply and release the parking brake, uh, in case you accidentally set it, you have to keep your normal brakes pressed, and you can activate the parking brake. Keep your normal brakes pressed again, and you will release the parking brake. You cannot activate the parking brake like that. All right, we're all set. Uh, to make it even more official, you can switch on the landing lights. And that's it. Let's take off. One more small thing we can do, just to make this flight a little bit more beautiful. 
make it like a nice morning flight, just like that. Alright, here we go. Normally what they do officially, I'm gonna go back here to 40%, get everything stable, and then go all out. After takeoff, ATC will contact us quite fast, so it will become a little bit busy. Um, I'll switch on the autopilot also at the same time, and then when we're up in the air and we're stable on autopilot, and have everything figured out with ATC, I will explain more about how I was activating the autopilot. 140 coming up there. Start rotating. Go for a 15 degrees pitch more or less. And we're off. Can press G on the keyboard for the gear up. There we go. I will turn these two real quick. American 738 contact Rome Center on 131.1. Press F6 for Good some day. flaps up. Go to ATC. Acknowledge the handoff. Going to 131.1 American 738. Tune Rome Center on. Contact Rome Center. Rome Center American I'll wait at the autopilot. I'm manually flying. Feet, climbing 9, feet. F6, uh, F6 again for some more flaps. American 738 Rome Center QNH 29.9 or 2. Continue to EO 603 as planned. And bring up to that F5. Two three zero. That's what we set up. Acknowledge instruction. Keep speed not above two three zero knots. American seven three eight. Trying to stay on the our line here more or less. American seven three eight verify squawking one four six two. Oh, I made a mistake there. You see what's going on now? One four one four six two. There we go. Okay, we're still good. Have to climb a little bit more. Okay, so setting up the autopilot, normally I would have already uh, done it, uh, but I want to go over it with you guys together. What you want to do first is switch on the autopilot, A. Um, next up you want to hit speed. So the uh, the airplane will control the speed now by itself, we're a little bit over it, so you see we start reducing straight away. Then we want to follow our line by pressing L nav. Now the plane will follow our uh, line, start banging to the left so you see it correct. Is that correct? What are you doing? American yeah. 738 climb and maintain 9,500. Next up, you want to hit uh, altitude vertical speed. Uh, you can go to the vertical speed as well straight away. Bring it back to 2 2. Like that. Technology. Climb Actually. and maintain 9,500 feet, American 738. So we have to increase by 500. We do so. So going over it here. Uh, you will see the airplane will start banging to the right soon, going to the next waypoint. And you can notice this one will jump. Up, there we go. Now we're heading for the next waypoint, and you can uh, you can monitor the di distance to the next waypoint over here, 24.7. So to go over all these uh, steps we did to uh, activate the autopilot, to engage the autopilot, uh, first you want to activate the autopilot by pressing this button here, and you can activate your speed. Uh, you can do also you can do it in a different way. You can uh, activate LNF first, or altitude doesn't matter. But I just like to activate the speed first, uh, so then you don't have to look after that first and then go to the right, activate the LNAV and straight away after that you can activate the vertical speed and you will climb to 9500 feet in this, uh, this case um, more officially you could bring the landing gear to the off position but it's not a requirement in case you forget it, don't worry uh, so you see, I was squawking the wrong fr uh, frequency and she will uh, yeah, tell me straight away like, please correct if we were not do it, then our flight plan got cancelled. Uh, notice this green line here, this green arc is uh, showing where we will reach 9,500 feet, and that's also the indicating uh, sound that 9,500 is coming up. Um, if I bring this down, notice the green uh, line will go a little bit further away from us. There it starts moving. We're almost there, so the plane already starts leveling out. As soon as vertical speed will go from this one, the altitude will become green again. American 738 climb and maintain 14,000 feet. You saw it switching? Now we have to go to 14,000. Climb and maintain 14,000 feet, American 738. 14,000. And we have to increase our uh, climb vertical speed also. 
otherwise ATC will tell us that we have to climb faster. And uh, we switched on our landing lights when passing uh, 10,000 feet. Officially you have to switch them off, in case you forget it, nothing will happen. But just a reminder to you. So notice how we are flying here uh, without setting up too much. Uh, we have the autopilot up, we have our route set up, we're flying, we take off, uh, we took off quite nice and we're flying. Um, before I switch off uh, the recording and uh, restart again recording when we're reaching our uh, destination or we have to do something else uh, according to ATC. I'm not going to do this 44 minutes flight altogether. I want to show you if you want to skip a waypoint. If that's too much information for now, you're just starting off, then just forget about it, never mind. But I want to show for the people who are interested. Um, Let's say we want to skip to our next waypoint straight away. <coughs> this one coming up there. We can pick this waypoint in Scratchpad, place it there, hit execute, and the plane will straight away start banking to the right, following our line. So to speed up this uh, process to our destination, I will pick a waypoint which is close by there. This SC node straight away won't be much difference, but anyway, let's do it like that, let's get it, <laughs> no, we're just almost there, we can start banging to the left again. So, um, if um, air traffic control gives us any, that's our 14,000 feet uh, notification, uh, if air traffic control will give us any information or we have to change something, I'll start recording again, uh, if not, I will see you guys again when we're getting close to this waypoint. So I hope uh, so far everything is clear, if not then just comment in the comments down below and I will answer. Uh, I will try to answer them and if it's uh, hard to answer I'll make a video about it. Uh, so I hope so far it's uh, useful and uh, we'll see you guys. Um, I wanted to stop but <laughs> not yet. We will already set up our RLS because by the time we reach this waypoint we're already so close. So let's set up the RLS already together. I'm going to go to the map mode want to check your picture or your uh, notes, 3-4 left, that's what I told, but I just want to verify it, making sure I was correct, runway 3-4 left. So we go to our destination airport, click on it, now you see it's not the correct one, so I click it on the waypoint, try again, nope, <laughs> oh no, normally it's going in one go, there we go. Now we have our way airport. Um, we want to go down until we are at the ILS part. And here you notice you see 3-4 left and the uh, course is 3-3-9. Oh, this is easier like this. 3-3-9 and they uh, set up here the same 3-3-9. There we go. Check it, check it. Yes. Because this can ruin your ILS approach so make sure you have this all set up correctly. Heading over to the frequency, this one we need as well, 108.900. So we go to the NAV radios here, if you remember the NAV, uh, then when you start flying, all you have to look for is your NAV uh, panel. And you want to set up 108.900, no, there is no dot, but you just continue typing, and we go like that. Don't add an extra zero, because it's going till 90. If you add an extra zero, you see what happens. So I have to clear that one. 108, 90. That's it. We do the same over here. 108, 90. Normally, I would leave it in standby. And when I get closer to the final waypoint, I will switch into active. Um, but I don't know how fast we will be there and, and, and what ATC will start telling us. So let's uh, switch to active already now. And uh, nothing will happen as long as we're not switching on our localizer mode here, the VOR localizer lock. So uh, they're now in active mode. That's good. So ILS wise, we're all set up as well. Um, if you uh, place it in both NAV systems, and later on we switch on a second autopilot, it will become a full automated land uh, landing. So all the way till touchdown, we can leave the autopilot on. Um, to be honest, I never did it because I wanted to take over in the end and manually land the plane just to practice it myself. But let's do it together with you guys today. Uh, fully automatic uh, landing uh, all the way till touchdown. So 
Hopefully it will go uh, nicely uh, smooth. Can make it a better landing. So guys, I'll see you at the next waypoint, or in case ATC gives us any more instructions. Here we are. So welcome back. Um, we're approaching our waypoint here in 37. Uh, now the commodities. Um, the in-game ATC tends to keep you quite high uh, until you're getting closer to the to the approach. So we're still at 14,000. I'm going to request an altitude decrease uh, because sometimes in the end we want you to go to 2,500 feet. Roll center, American 738. Request 7,000 feet. <coughs> American 738 descent and maintain 7,000 feet. Approve for 7,000. Descend and maintain 7,000 feet, American 738. And start. Right American 738 descent and maintain 9,500 feet. Descend and maintain 9,500 feet, American 738. Gonna bring this one down to 200. 737, 800 is not slowing down, so good. See how we're staying here at our speed. Um, so I'm adjusting uh, altitude and vertical speed settings while acknowledging ATC. And in case you don't know, these numbers are corresponding with the numbers on your keyboard. Um, so you can uh, press 3 and you go to your uh, yeah, request uh, altitude decrease page. Still gonna ask again for a decrease because 9500 is still high. And we need to get the... Rome Center, American 738. Request 3000 feet. Expect 3000, but probably. Go to 9,500 and expect 3,000. American 738 yeah, descent and maintain 9,500 feet. Expect we're gonna set up 3,000 so I can see where we reach 3,000 if we keep going like this. Um, most likely when we pass 9,500, she will uh, straight away tell us. Feet. Expect 3, to feet, descend and maintain 3,000. So we're just gonna leave it like this. And in case uh, she's not telling us to uh, go to 3,000, we can always change it. When we're passing 10,000 feet, we have to switch on our landing lights officially again. So I'm just going to do that. In case you're coming up to your approach and you're not slowing down, um, you can apply speed brakes. I have it uh, on the shortcut here on my joystick. So you can apply speed brakes. The green light will indicate that speed brakes are on. Speed brakes on. Sorry for the noise. You see, speed brakes are on. Use now. And you start slowing down a little bit. Bring it. Like that. So I'm gonna keep recording. American uh, 738, you are 300 feet below your assigned altitude. Oh, we're possible. Climb and maintain 9,500 feet QNH 29 or decimal 9 or 2. Not paying attention. Sorry. Climb and maintain 9,500 feet, American 738. Remove the speed brakes. It's pity because we have to go down like crazy later on. I'm gonna ask it decrease again. Um, you know what? Never mind. It's only 17 miles away. If you have everything set up, like performance pages and stuff like that, you will have a top of descent and you know exactly when to start uh, descending. We're, doing, uh, we're not doing it like that, so we have to see a little bit what's working out for us. Later on, all of a sudden, she will come up like, ah, go to 2,500 feet and then you have to start descending like crazy. So I'm gonna check my Corsair again, 339, frequencies are still good, 10890, yeah, okay, good. American 738, please expedite your climb 9,500 feet. I did it a few times like that, so I didn't wanna ignore it now. She, know, she will not cancel our flight plan or whatsoever, she should also maybe say it a few more times. Uh, but I'm gonna ignore it for now. Um, I had experience before where I was at 9,000 or 10,000 feet and I had to go to 2,000 all of a sudden. And then didn't make it because I was simply too high. 
So I'm gonna easy, easy start descending to 4,000. And then later on when she wants us to go to 2,500 or 3,000. We're good. So one more thing, um, I'm going to keep recording now because there are going to be a lot of changes coming up soon within the next uh, 10 miles. So before our approach, uh, we want to change our auto brakes. Uh, these will be um, used as soon as we make touchdown. American 738, please expedite yeah, yeah. your climb 9,500 feet. So we'll set these on two and that will be nice, that will be fine. If you have a very short runway you can go all the way to max. Uh, but two will be enough. Autopilot is still taking care of our speed. Gonna drop my range here again a little bit. This one, one more. So I can have a monitor both a different range. I started flying with the PMG 737 all the way back in uh, Microsoft Flight Simulator X and uh, I had no clue how to fly the airplane but I was so impressed by how, how detailed it is and how I saw people setting it up that was simply too uh, too complex and I got completely overwhelmed uh, by how much uh, information the plane actually needs uh, to fly it officially uh, the correct way let's say but I came up with my own uh, way of doing it and this is how I started. Um, and if you do it like this, you can uh, make ILS landings quite quite fast already. Uh, and setting up like this is not so difficult. So you will manage to make an ILS landing quite quick. And American that's really expedite your climb 9,500 feet. Yes, ma'am. That's really satisfying if you can make like a full American flight. You see, there we go. And then we have to go to like 2,500 or something straight away. Maintain present heading and altitude. And if you can do like a full flight, it's satisfying. And then from there on, you can go into more detail, setting up everything. But at least you know how to get you to your destination already. So remember how I said in the beginning that we're not perfectly lined up here. Um, we're gonna fix it by turning ourselves more or less this direction after reaching Neptune. To do so, we're gonna use our heading mode. We're gonna go like this. We're gonna adjust it. So in such a way that after we reach Neptune, we simply go to heading mode and wanna go more or less somewhere over there. Now we have these dots showing up here. And later on there will be diamonds here. And that's for our ILS approach. So keep an eye later on on this area. So if you quick uh, approach to your uh, final runway, des yeah, the destination, this will be more aligned. American 738, please Still want us to climb. Quite surprised because we're already getting so close. Still 16, but I mean, descending with this plane and keeping speed is quite. That takes time. Well, three, two, three, zero for now. That's fine. So I know this is taking some time. Um, maybe I'll make some timestamps in the description, or you're just um, moving a little bit along the video yourself. Um, I know this is can be this can be a little bit boring, but um, if I stop recording now and all of a sudden we have to do a lot of things, then start recording again. It's American seven three eight, please expedite your climb nine thousand five hundred feet. Assume we can tune in on approach, and th those guys want us to descend for sure. Here 
here's our first one already showing up. Slowly coming up on our altitude set. Set altitude. Quite pity from this <laughs> tutorial fly because it's not happening like this most of the time. I mean, normally I get like uh, landing clears and then we can go to like 3000, 2500 quite fast. But I rather be a little bit low and get these messages than being too high and not uh, descending fast enough without gaining too much speed and uh, messing up my approach. So I'd rather get these messages now <laughs> than messing up my uh, final approach. If we would follow this route, we would not uh, line up with the runway so nice. Um, this uh, second lop on the heading mode. American is, uh, 738 descent and maintain 2, there we go, feet. now we're talking. Descend and maintain 2,500 feet American 738. I'm gonna take out some speed here as well. Uh, where I was talking about the second knob on the uh, heading mode is uh, for uh, how fast you want the plane to turn, how far to bank, let's say, if you're in a heading mode. So I'm gonna go to heading mode here straight away now. Uh, LNF is off. See how uh, fast we're turning. If I bring this down to 10, we're turning less fast. Let not so fast, let's say. So when we start lining up and want to switch on VOR lock already normally you can do this when you get clearance we are less landing but we can switch it on already American 738 contact Rome approach on 125.5 good day taking off a little bit more let's do zero zero here 125.5 for American There's 738 our Second diamond we want for our altitude. Rome approach American 738 is at 3,500 feet, descending 2,500 feet. Reaching our 2,500 now. American 738 Rome approach QNH 29 or decimal 9 or 2. Continue to CF 34L as planned. So, guys, like I said, keep an eye on these ones and keep an eye on this upper part. Um, and later on, when the localizer, uh, when we capture the localizer, um, heading mode will switch off, and uh, the, the VOR lock will uh, stay on. Uh, and at this point, we switch to uh, approach mode and engage the second autopilot. So manually bringing the plane, uh, lining up with the runway. I'm expecting the. Diamond to start moving soon. I'm gonna keep it like this. When we are close to this line, this dotted line, this one will start moving. And as soon as it's here, or just before, um, it will switch to uh, VR lock. The heading mode will go off. And at that point, we can switch on the uh, other part of the approach mode. Bring up, bring down some flaps here. Our speed limit is shown here, 
by the amount of flaps. So if I press F7 again for more flaps, this line will come down a little bit more. And we want to go down to about 150, 149, something like that. Uh, 159. Um, be aware that to pass uh, flaps 25, you need to have your landing gear down. 2500. There's our localizer, switching on approach mode, switching on second autopilot. Notice how heading mode where it was switched off, and this diamond became like, uh, yeah, full color, let's say. <laughs> That's indicating that we're capturing. So we want to bring this one gear down. Bring this one down to 159, like I said. Dropping our final few flaps. Now we have one more thing to keep an American eye on. 738, you are one tree mile south of Fiume. Contact Fiume Tower on 123 decimal 725 when inbound. Tower on 123 decimal 725 American 738. So we still want our altitude capture. Which I expect coming up any moment. Contact tower. Fiume Tower American 73812 miles south inbound ILS runway 34 left I believe left you approach. can even land with 140 but we're gonna keep it. No, let's make it 150. American 738 Fiume Tower. QNH29er decimal 9 or 2 went calm. Cleared ILS runway 34 left approach. Clear ILS runway tree for left approach American 738. So guys, like I said, normally in the end I would take over myself. Um, but let's try a full auto land together. This is our final clearance, so we can minimize this for now. Should be no more... Um, there, there, that's our altitude. So, let's keep an eye. If the plane will follow along as soon as passing this uh, this stripe here, this line. So checking a little bit more, auto brakes are set up, our flaps are set, speed is okay, landing lights are on, we're all set. There's our altitude coming up. <laughs> I have to throttle my yoke all the way back to zero. In case we disengage autopilot, we're not accidentally bringing it up to full speed again. There we go. And we're now on full auto land mode on both autopilots. Uh, even approach mode is off now. So I'll reset my camera here. So I'll let you know. Uh, let you know when I normally take over myself uh, in case it in case uh, yeah, no, like I said normally I would uh, land the plane myself just to practice those landings but, uh, American 738, wind calm, clear to land runway 3 left final call, that's right, we have one more coming that's our last one clear to land runway 3 for left American 738 so let's see how this auto land will uh, it should flare the plane also by, uh, yeah, it should also flare the plane, let's say, when we're coming up close to the runway. Be aware of the noise, I'll make the outside camera for a second. This uh, NVIDIA Shadowplay uh, video recording is it's like uh, taking a big bite on my uh, <laughs> FPS. You start having some stuttering here. I have some settings uh, set up. 1000. Which are higher when I'm not recording. And I drop, drop a few settings when I make recording, but about this time.
something new for me here as well as I don't know if the autopilot will disengage or, or how it will go when we make the actual touchdown. Maybe we have to disengage the autopilot ourselves as soon as we have touchdown. Still one red here, so we're not too low. Three white, we're not too high. One hundred. I hope it will flare itself. Fifty. Flare, 40, flare. Yeah. Thirty. Okay. Twenty. Ten. Okay, it's even dropping speed all the way to itself. Okay, okay. Okay. Disengaging autopilot still. So let's say after the touchdown you can disengage the autopilot. Give reverse thrust here. I'm not using any brakes myself here, so this is all reverse thrust. And auto brake, I'm gonna use some brake here. Take the exit here. And passing about 60, between 60 and 80, you American can let go. Turn next taxiway. Reverse thrust. Switch on the auto brakes. Switch off. Press F5 to bring the, bring the flaps back. And you can press here. To bring American the speed 738, back. contact ground on 121 decimal minor. So, guys, I'll stop the plane here. I will tell her we go to ground. Well, now we'll look at it. One two one decimal niner for American seven three eight. There we go with the speed brakes. One more step. Flaps are coming up again as well. And I'll switch on the parking brake. And we'll do a quick summary. So here we are. Speed brakes are in normal position. <coughs> Flaps are coming up. So a lesson for me as well. As soon as you make touchdown, you still have to switch off the autopilot and, uh, and go into a reverse thrust. Uh, as far as I still. Uh, but how satisfying is this, right? <laughs> so, um, this is my way of doing it when I just started and uh, how I found out how to do the, uh, the uh, full flight with the ILS. Um, as you saw, we had to do our uh, altitude a little bit ourselves. Um, we could stay higher, most likely, but anyway, we are on the ground, so turn your taxi lights. Um, but yeah, that's it. If this was helpful, please uh, subscribe and feel free to comment. Uh, any suggestions or if you're still having questions feel free to ask don't hesitate I will answer them and if it's a complicated answer or a complicated question then I will try to make a video about it so yeah thanks a lot for watching and uh, see you on the next one